No going back on getting AK-47 for multiple security outfits in Ondo. Governor Kiro Dolu replies Buhari presidency. Hmm, you don't settle. Governor Rotimi Akiro Dolu of Ondo State on Wednesday replied to the presidency on the use of automatic weapons for regional and state security outfits. The presidency on Tuesday said it had not granted approval for the use of arms and ammunition for any state or regional security outfit. Garaba Shew, the special assistant to President Muhammad Buhari on media and publicity, stated this in a statement, adding that no state has been authorized to procure automatic weapons for their security outfit. According to the statement, only the National Security Advisor, NAT, is empowered to authorize the use of arms and ammunition by security outfit following proper clearance by the president and the commander in chief under this administration the president has repeatedly made it clear that nobody is allowed to illegally carry ak-47 or any other automatic weapons and that they must surrender them but reacting to the claims of the presidency Akiro Dolu, through his chief press secretary, Richard, asked the federal government where the ground scene with Castina Vigilantes in a viral video came from. Beautiful. Who approved their use? Where the guns, where the guns returned to the armory after use? He also asked. In the statement titled, Governor Akiro Dolu resolved is to spare no effort in protecting the people. The governor said the reasons adduced by Garaba Shehu for the continued refusal to approve of the use of sophisticated weapons by the state security outfit can no longer be plausible in the face of increasing security challenges being faced by the people. He reiterated his determination to go to any length to protect the people of his state, vowing to exploit all available legal and constitutional means to secure the state and its people. He added that the assumption made by Shehu on the use of automatic weapons by state security outfits betrays the current realities across the country. His attempt to justify the use of AK-47 by the vigilantes of Castina State for training stands, logic, or its head, he said. The statement partly read. The report by the TVC News that went viral showed the Castina State Vigilante training with AK-47. This is the same weapon which Approva has vehemently been refused for the use of Omateco crops and other state security outfits. The question, Governor Akiro Dulu San asked her, where did the guns come from? Who approved their use? Where the guns where the guns returned to the armory after use? The AK-47 has seen from the TVC news report was about usage. If not, what purpose does training with the guns serve? It is rather suspicious that Garaba Shehu elected himself as a spokesperson for the Castina State government, whereas the Castina State has not come out openly to deny the statement of Governor Akiro Dolu on the use of AK-47 by vigilantes of Castina State during training. It added, Governor Akiro Dolu has reiterated that State security outfits backed by law, whether in Western Nigeria, Kestina, Burunu, Benue, or any other northern state, must have access to the same sophisticated weapons that the criminals have. It is time to face down these enemies of the people. It is logical 
to continue to fight hardened murderers who bear sophisticated weapons to kidnap and maim our people with bare hands. We cannot fight armed enemies of the people with our bare hands. It is our firm belief that the government has a fundamental duty to protect the people. It is a tax that must be accomplished without excuse. The statement noted that the Southern Nigerian Governors Forum, 19 Northern State Governors, and Northern Traditional Rulers Council had called for the establishment of state police in the country. The call by the sub-national should be heeded and change effect where necessary. Every governor sworn to an oath to protect the states and the people. The sub-national must be allowed to put in place security forces as a counterbalancing force to face those murderers who have unchecked access to sophisticated weapons. It is high time we tackle those conflict entrepreneurs and restore the confidence of the people. We cannot do the same thing and gain and expect different results. Governor Kirodolu is committed to the security of the people, particularly his state. He will continue to speak up in defense of the people. He is very much committed to realization of constitutional amendment to reflect the current realities, he said. Hmm. I really love the boldness of this man. I really love the boldness of this man. If it is good for the North, it's good for the South also. If it is good for Baba State, it's also good for Akira Dolu State also. You understand? So, I don't know what they are doing here. Honestly speaking, Nigerians can now see what the real color of this government. I am dropping it here, guys. Kindly share your thoughts below the comment section. Please do not forget to subscribe to this channel if you have not. Thank you.